Good morning. This is what the first downhill climb or anything of the day is still this. Lots of fun. on top of South Twin Mountains. So many mountains! I feel so teeny tiny in this little teeny tiny world. Sitting on some cliffs. Could probably rock climb up here. These are the Zealand Falls. There's a hut too. It was just right up there. Um they were serving dinner to the guests though, so we didn't go in. Little tidbit on the huts in the whites. They're ran by AMC and they cost like, pick anywhere from like 100 to $250 a night to stay there. And it's, what you're paying for is a bunk and a bunk room and dinner and breakfast. Um, I asked the caretaker last night, like, why is it so expensive? And his answer were, was, it's really expensive to ro run a hotel in the mountains. Because in the whites, there's no roads that go up to any of the huts. Um, so food either has to be carried in for miles by people. Or... Um, it has to be airlifted in the food, so I guess it's the food that's so expensive, but it's not like fancy food. Um, we did have some baked goods at the last place, and it looked, that was pretty good, but I think it's like for dinner tonight, they're having a soup salad, bread, which that all sounds good, and then pesto, pasta, and a dessert. So it's all like good, like homemade food. It's just not like a $200 meal, which again, it's just expensive to get it to the huts. It's 6.30 now, so it's getting dark. But everyone said after you get down from Zealand Hut, the next five miles is like a sidewalk in the woods. They describe it as. And this does seem like the nicest trail I've walked in a long time. There's like barely any roots or rocks. So fancy. Sunset and the sky super pink and orange. It's lighter over here. Pretty cool over there. Good morning. Here's some beautiful waters. Bam. So, last night we didn't get to camp until just after sunset, so it's just getting dark. Um, we stayed at a campsite that was like two miles, a little bit more than two miles before a shelter up here. We were the first ones there, then a couple more people showed up. And then a couple more people showed up, but then at that point when the second, or we were the first, so third group up there. 
Um, it was kind of full because there was five of them in the third group. So they hiked on. But of course we didn't wake up early again today. Started at nine. Today's is going to be harder than yesterday. This day was actually pretty, not too bad. There's like a couple downhills that were like annoying and you had to go down really slow. And I think I'm taking them like extra slow because I do not want to hurt myself. It's like the last 300 and something miles. I can see the finish line. I'm not getting hurt. Um, so, uh, so just a little over 11 miles today. And it's supposed to be like 10 degrees tonight. We're going to be on top of a ridge line. So super excited about that. Heading to the shelter to use the privy facilities. And there's this beautiful pond, Ethan Pond. Here's the shelter. The last um, shelter we stayed at, it was different, so I guess they're not all the same. And platforms are back there. Privet is up yonder, and the caretaker's home is over yonder. But I guess they're not here. Um, there's been, everyone we've been at, there's been a weather report. And um, the last people we just passed coming in here said it was from a couple of days ago. So I don't think there's been a caretaker here for a couple of days. So people who stayed here last night got to stay for free. They get to go straight up this right now. Hey. Sun's out. Oh, it was raining last night. The trail's wet. Miss Martin. Well, still is. This is Webster Cliffs. Webster Cliffs. We're not doing, uh, these are the presidentials we're walking up to, but we're not doing Mount Washington today. Do too many miles. One, and two, it's extremely windy today. Tomorrow, I was just able to look at the weather for the first time. 35% chance of rain. But the wind, not as windy, so. Maybe we'll get a view tomorrow, maybe not. At least we're getting something today. Sun's coming out a little bit over there. Not where we are. These are the clouds. Oof. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just keep Ew. Going. Hey, how are you gonna get across? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's like quicksand. Oh, uh, yeah. This way. Okay. <laughs> the bog. We're in the cloud. Or almost. Oh, it's cold today. It's cold and windy. Last night was so great. It was so good. Freezing to death. I have no idea what we're doing today. Survive. And survive is the key. I have no pants. I have no mental hair. 
These are the views we're working with today. Beautiful. Pretty sure you're supposed to be able to see a 360 at the White Mountains from up here. We're on top of something. I don't know what it is. It's one day. Thank you so much. Mustard, Dijon chicken, corn, rice. train but we have too many damn layers. <sighs> this is a great golf. That's what we hiked before to that lake and I want to those rocks a lot harder than the way we did today we can see the clouds moving west of the presidentials it's all downhill from here This climb down from Madison has kind of been like a 2 0 adventure. Just lots of rocks. Can see, oh, blue shorts almost died. You can see some Karens. You just have to figure out how to get there. Can't really see because the sun. Boop. Good morning. This is the hat I bought at um, one of the huts. Yesterday, two days ago, uh, we stayed at Osgood campsite last night. Only did 10 miles. Seems to be all we could do. Um, 
in the lights yesterday the weather cleared up so you could see have really great views but it was really really windy and every time I tried to go fast I keep up my pick up my pace because I thought I was going really slow I trip and stumble and fall and it was really frustrating so yesterday I did not have a good day I was very frustrated um we I don't think I told you but uh, not yesterday, but the day before, the weather was terrible. Like, you could maybe see 20 feet ahead of you at some time, some points. And the wind was whooping everywhere, and it was rainy, and just really gross. And so we only did five miles to the Lakes of the Clouds Hut. And we... Um, decided to stay there, even though it's very expensive. So, before tax, it was $154 per person for one night, and that got you a bunk and a common bunk room. They don't have showers, they do have toilets, they don't have hot water, um, no laundry, of course, but they do serve you dinner and breakfast, that's included. Um, and the hut itself doesn't have heating, because it's like in the middle of the forest, and they don't have a fire thing or anything in there, so everyone was, like, wrapped up in their quilts, and I think that's why I bought this hat, because it was just so cold, and then yesterday I talked about Washington about these gloves, it's just been a mess in the way, it's just been cold. And rainy and windy, but I guess that's what we get for taking our time. You end up with not great weather through the whites. I'm like 99% sure we've been here before. Oh, yeah, because I remember those symbols right there, and I remember we went down there to check it out. Yeah, huh. Interesting. I think we even went, oh, we went up that way, but we're going down this way. Maybe. Can't remember. Huh. We're at the Pinkerton, whatever, visitor center. Just rock climbed up here. That little part is Mount Washington. Oh, did all those already. More rock climbing. Just climbed up that to this boo. This gray joy thinks I have something in my hand. I'm so terrified. Does it realize I don't have food in my hand? Ooh. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna play this game anymore. Sorry, Gray Joy. Or Gray J. Now he's gone. Oh no, he's right there. Big bird. I just don't want that huge bird to fly in my hand, but apparently they'll eat stuff out of your hand. <laughs> Did a tiny little blue place. Much better view. Down there, there's like a pond lake, and then the last of the huts, I think. And uh, the weights for us we stayed kind of around there last night. See the hog rising. It looks like it's like swirling and twirling. Mm -hmm. It's like going up over here. Uh-huh. 
There's supposed to be a big storm coming. Um, it calls for hail. So, it's supposed to be here in the next couple hours. So we're trying to get off this ridge rather quickly. But very muddy because it rained last night. Um, also, uh, I don't know the particulars really at all, but the hostels in the next town we're coming up to are all closed. Someone said something about the COVID outbreak on the AT up north. I don't really know. I'm just glad that Booty Shorts and I are vaccinated. Well, there was some news that the storm might not come, but we can see it right there, so we're just prepping for it.